Asuma here with a tutorial on how to set up spawning pads for farming wither skeletons. With 1.4 just around the corner, SciGuy Ryan has been reading through the code and sharing with me the information needed to understand how and where the wither skeletons spawn and how to build effective spawning pads. First of all, you will need to find a nether fortress as it is the only place that wither skeletons can spawn. But despite popular belief, they can only spawn in certain parts of nether fortresses, that being the bridge sections. But at the moment it is not possible to define what actually constitutes being a bridge section. I have been observing the spawn behaviour and have seen them spawn in almost every type of nether structure that can be naturally generated. So hopefully I'll be able to update this part of the video later with an annotation providing more information. So the location and type of fortress is important. For example, this is a bad place to build a wither farm because the fortress size is huge and there is no lava lake. This means that there are way too many places for the wither skeletons to spawn and no lava lake naturally removing other spawnable areas. Since wither skeletons spawn like regular mobs, having little spawning area outside of where they can spawn is also very important. So I've mocked up what would be the perfect location. The chances of finding a lone nether fortress in a huge lava lake is so slim that it's probably not worth exploring for. So the ideal factors that you need to look for when finding a location to build your farms is a small nether fortress and preferably in a lava lake or with a lava lake nearby. So when you found the location of your wither farm, you'll need to create some spawning platforms. The way to do this is to pick out a bridge section and we are still unsure of what defines a bridge section but this is clearly a bridge and I've seen wither skeletons spawning here before. So wherever there are nether bricks naturally spawned, the chunk that those bricks are in become the chunks where the wither skeletons can spawn. So now I'm going to show you how to use the F3 tool to find out what chunk you're in and if it's one that a wither will spawn in. So if we press F3 on the left hand side we need to be looking at the x, y and z coordinates, mainly the x and z and on the right hand side of all of those numbers you'll see c23 and then in brackets 11. So c is the chunk number and the brackets are the block that we're on within the chunk. So it's mainly the brackets that we need to be looking at but right now we're on the edge of a chunk. If you look at z it says 15 and if I take a step back it says 0 and the c number changes from 69 into 70. So this is one chunk and behind it is another one. Now there's no naturally spawned nether bricks in this chunk here so that means that withers won't be able to spawn in it. So to build a spawn pad what you need to do is come over here, let's find a chunk that has some naturally spawned nether bricks in like this one and you can see that the edge of this chunk is right here, this is where it starts, this block here. So we can go in this direction all the way to where it says 15 and then I've moved over to zero so we're now in a different chunk and this one the withers can't spawn in but if I move back to where it says 15 you can put blocks coming all the way up to here and the withers will be, will be able to spawn on it. So if we go in this direction all the way down to zero this is the other cor um, corner of that chunk so you can build your platform all the way out to here and that is basically how you use the tool you just need to identify the borders of the chunks and make sure that the ones you build your platform with have naturally spawned nether brick in them. So now that you know how to identify a fortress chunk we can build a platform in it and this is where the withers can spawn. So like most mob systems if you want to increase the spawn rates on your pads you'll need to remove spawnable areas outside of it. In the nether that can be an especially tedious task of either removing tons of netherrack or half slabbing blocks or covering them with lava across large amounts of terrain. It is also important to note that wither skeletons can spawn anywhere inside of the chunk and not necessarily on your spawning pad or in the fortress. I also think it's important to point out that the blazes now spawn under the same conditions as the wither skeletons so when you're farming these guys you're going to get a load of blazes as well and the wither skeletons are strong, the blazes can set you on fire and it's recommended that you should be well prepared for farming these guys so that includes fire resistance potions because the blazes will set you on fire I would also use regeneration potions because the wither effect is quite like poison and of course make sure you have some good armour and a good weapon so this tutorial has provided you with information for creating effective spawning pads where the wither skeletons can spawn and the next step is up to you now that you can isolate the areas in which withers can spawn in, there are many ways to automate the farming process using traditional mob trap designs. So, as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.